Today's show is brought to you by Harry's. Harry's is so confident you're going to love their razor blades, they'll give you their trial shave set for free when you sign up at harrys.com slash cadcast. Just pay for shipping. episode number 514. I'm your host, GPD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we are joined by a man who will do his best to not use any racial slurs, Wombat. Thanks a lot, you so-and-so. See what I did there? Yes, that was clever. I added current events and beeps coming out of my mouth. So is ginger a racial slur? Redhead I, is I not a race. I, I don't. Believe. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm fine with it. Okay. I don't know. No. Ginger's fine. You can drop so, the drop the I G can bombs. Drop it, I, can, I can use the G word, as they say in uh, certain circles. Yes, G bombs. All right. All right. How's it going, shipwreck? It's going fine. How are you, wombat? Hanging in there, living life, taking Fantastic. it one day at a time. Yep. I'm glad we don't have to depend on YouTube revenues. <laughs> well, not right now. <laughs> right. Even Howard Stern was dunking on PewDiePie today. He doesn't even really understand what PewDiePie does, but he did his best to <laughs> to slam him, it I guess. It doesn't matter what he does. All that matters is what he did, and what he did is inappropriate. What? How about that? <laughs> I'm confused. I think you should be kicked off of YouTube for that. <laughs> All right, welcome to the show, everybody. We got a lot of stuff to talk about today. Nintendo just did a Nintendo Direct. There's video games that are coming out that we're playing. What else, Wombat? Tickle their ass with a you, feather. You had a big birthday over the weekend, <laughs> I, past weekend. It wasn't a big. I don't know that it was a big birthday. It was. You had. I heard you had a huge party that I wasn't invited to. Well, that's true. But, you know you, that you, your source yeah. is correct there, but. So yeah. No, I didn't. I did not have a huge party. I did have a steak dinner, which was very good. Where'd you go? Uh, Bryant and Cooper. Do you know that place? It sounds familiar. It's a steakhouse. It's mm-hmm. like Ponderosa. It's like it's like a, like a Sizzler Golden Corral, basically. Yeah, I figured as much. No, it was it was it was, an, uh, it, was it was a fine meal, and I got a uh, a lot of uh, homeowner type birthday presents. Such as a uh, a shop vac. I got a lot of actually. I got a lot of presents. All right. Check this out. I got a shop vac, not mm-hmm. a real shop vac, like a an off brand shop. Yeah, vac. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. Like tough vac or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got a power washer. Ooh. So my rocks will be so clean. Mm-hmm. I got. I got. Uh, a Blades of Steel uh, painting. I knew about that. You knew. I knew about that as well. You knew about the shenanigans. I was the only one who didn't know about the shenanigans. Yeah, I knew. She you're, she was very proud that that you... She was very proud when you went up to the guy and asked the second time if he had the Blades of Steel picture. And the second time he said, do you know? And then your wife pulled me aside and said, he doesn't know that I bought it for him already. And that's why he doesn't have it in stock anymore. Right. This is at LI Retro. Yes. It was very funny and yeah. adorable. Yes. It was nice. It was good. I was like, oh, that's weird. I didn't even think of, I didn't even put two and two together. I just figured there was another big nerd out there who who bought it while I was looking at something else. Which is plausible. I mean, if someone, they they wouldn't make it if they didn't think someone was going to buy it. Right. That's true. Yeah. So I got that. I got, um, I got two winter handmade winter hats from Osaka grandma, uh, cashmere winter hats. One of them has a skull and crossbones on it, which was, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, what else did I get? pretty much it i want to say that's a lot that's like a that's a pretty good haul right there 
That is a good haul. Yeah. So it was a good birthday. Sounds, sounds like a happy birthday. It was. Cool. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. Sure. Anything else mm-hmm. going on that we need to know about? I went out for dinner on your birthday also, just not with you. I had a date night. I had my anniversary dinner. Ooh. Because your birthday happens to fall right around my anniversary. Right. It's like three days apart. Everybody Every gets year, laid. huh? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> every year. Every year. I know. What a strange coincidence. It happens every year. So that was nice. We ate on the water. I had scallops and calamari and jalapenos. Nice, dude. I also had scallops at Benihana. Yeah, that's a good place on too. A, on a different night that we went with the Osaka grandma because she mm. she does like Benihana. And hopefully, all our listeners in Florida are back in their homes and safe. Yes, yes. I talked. I I chatted with Whip Smart Banky on Twitter, and he's okay. That's good. That's good. Yes, my grandma's okay. Woo! She had to go to my cousin's house. Is this the one that's a ghost or? No, this is my grandmother who's 96. Ah, she's still alive. Okay. Yes. Good. She's 96. Yes. Soon she'll be writing letters. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow. Sorry. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was terrible. Too too soon? I mean, too early? <laughs> too, or too early. Uh. All right. Let's go right into uh, <laughs> show, show feedback. From last. You, may show have feedback? To, you may have to set up this show feedback because I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Oh, on the last show, I talked about, and I'm going to go with confused memory. Well, I have two theories on this. I'll get to it after. But I remembered seeing a picture of uh, King Koopa with a a cape and a crown and a scepter. Now, according to Beto Buster, uh, he has to say that he checked his Super Mario Brothers manual his starts at page four, so it's missing some pages. <laughs> so this means nothing. But he only sees King Koopa as a sprite, no artwork. He thinks that I was remembering Wart from Super Mario Brothers 2. And also in the cartoon, King Koopa did have a crown and a scepter. So what I'm thinking is, because I'm an old man, and Combined honestly, things. yeah, I may be just kind of melding memories together. That's one theory, and right. probably the, the right one. Yeah. And it's plausible. They're fairly honest mistake i think um the other theory is is that you know that sinbad theory where he was in a a genie movie that doesn't really exist yeah but maybe that's because there's an alternate timeline and the timeline switched and we just don't know no i don't think that's why people think that happened so i'm thinking maybe (laughs) there was an alternate timeline Mm. where king koopa had the cape the crown and the scepter and that's where that's where this came from. That that we're actually just living in a different timeline, sure. and I'm the only person with a memory of it. Kind of like Neo in the Matrix. Hmm. I'm gonna go with you're just thinking of the cartoon. No, I'm thinking. I'm pretty sure alternate it's alternate universe. timeline. Hmm. I'm going. I like what you. Who put that on the outline? By the way, that was that was me. I found mm-hmm. a picture of yes. somebody who else who had probably made the same mistake you had. There you go. See, I'm not crazy. It's just, you know, just not correct. There's a difference. All right. <laughs> wow. All right. Speaking speaking of those things, red divided, red, red, oh, redivided by long time listener, first time commenting in a while. He had to look up his username and email. You see, this is the problem. We have so few comments. I don't have much to pull from. That people haven't been blocking in in so long they don't even remember their usernames. Well, I hit us up on Twitter. Yeah. Wombat should totally pursue the Do You Remembered Bungle references thing. So they already started the show off with it, with uh, King Koopa. I was laughing so hard I had to take my glasses off. Keep up the great work, guys, and Wombat never, ever change. Don't worry, he won't. I won't. Trust me, it's not going to happen. Right. All right. That was some show feedback. It's not that great. Can you guys give us better feedback next week? What do you want? I don't know. Be specific. I'm not sure. Maybe it's our fault. Maybe we're not doing enough interesting things. That's very possible. If you think our show is terrible, tell us. Press one now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you watch some more TV. I watched. Yeah, let's go to watch this bitches. bitches. I, uh, I finished Penny Dreadful. That's that Showtime series. Mm-hmm. It's three seasons long. And I, I was... 
I loved it for like the first two seasons. And the last season is so lame. And the is this ending, a vampire thing? What is this? This is this is the one that's got it's got everybody. So you got you got you got the vampires, you got okay. Frankenstein, right. you got Dr. Frankenstein, you got Frankenstein's monster, you got you got Bride of Frankenstein, you've got I don't I don't want to spoil things, but you got you got like a crew together, but not it's not it doesn't sound as ridiculous as I'm making it sound right now. It's 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 done in a very thoughtful way until they get to the end of the show. And I I know the show got canceled, but I thought they had I, re- I had read they had plenty of time to like sort the ending out and everything. But it was just such a disappointment that I I, I wouldn't even recommend you watch the show now. That's how Okay, I won't. I watched um the did you ever have, did you saw the, ever see the movie Wet Hot American Summer? No. Oh, yes. You should watch that too. It's not a terrible movie. They did the Netflix series. They did the first day of camp, and then they did the ten years later thing. Yeah, I watched a little of that. The, the first I, one. I watched the first day of camp. I finished that. I liked it. I mean, you have to see them. If you didn't see the movie, it won't make any sense to you. Maybe that's why I wasn't crazy about it. Yeah, it would make zero sense if you haven't seen the movie. Which is weird because they took the movie off of Netflix, but both series are still there. So I don't know what there, what happened there. Someone dropped the ball somewhere. Someone didn't sign a piece of paper that they were supposed to. Mm. Mm. But uh, I enjoyed the first day of camp. I started 10 years later. I'm about three episodes in, and I don't like it very much. They should have quit while they were ahead. Yeah, it happens. Yep. They went too deep. All right. What else we got here? I'm I'm still listening to uh, Will Wheaton read me Ready Player One. Has he said Alf yet? Uh, no, okay. and it's getting better. Okay, the book is they. It seems like he got past this this just constant list of references from the '80s, and there's actually like a plot going on now. Okay, that's good. You need that. Um, yeah. The, I so now it is very much a young adult type fiction sci fi type thing, like the Hunger Games. That's a reference. That yes, Katniss Everdeen. Uh huh. Or is it like Lord of the Flies? That's also a reference. Uh, maybe, maybe not really Lord of the Flies though. No, I I would say a lot more Harry Potter ish. If you're familiar with that uh, reference, Harry Potter, yeah, he went to he went to uh, Hogwell's School of Magicians. Uh huh. That's yeah. the one. Hogwell's Harry Potter. Uh, Fight, right. Fighting Moldywort. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't know the. It's still not like great literature by any means, but I could see that, like that's the book in Harry Potter. Voldemort has the crown and the scepter and the red cape. That's him. All right, just checking. Make sure I don't have my references mixed up. Oh, so so now it's good, is what you're saying? It yeah, it's it's very pa- passable now. Okay, like I, I'm at least it's at least good enough for me to continue listening to now. If it had kept on going down the route it did for the first like three chapters, whew, that's that first three chapters is rough. All right, and so you gotta you gotta push past the first three. Right. And I get like kind of establishing like the themes and everything, but it was just it was too much. You you established too much. But All I'm right. interested to see where it goes now. Cool. Uh I started reading uh Jason Scherer's new book that just came out. Um Pixel wait, Blood, Sweat and Pixels. Oh, I thought you were reading it just says Pixels book. And I thought you were reading the novelization of the movie. I thought so. I honestly thought the same thing. I'm doing both. No, <laughs> I'm reading the Blood, Sweat, and Pixels. The triumph. Now I need to look up to see if there is a novelization of the there movie isn't. Pixels. There, but there, I, <laughs> I can tell you that there's not. Um, I feel very confident in that in that guess right there. Are there any novelizations of any Adam Sandler films? I'm guessing no. I feel confident. Probably not, but you know. Anyway, it's called Blood, Sweat, and Pixels, the triumphant, turbulent stories behind how video games are made. Um, and it's basically broken down 
uh, by game. There's a bunch of just each each uh, game gets its own chapter, uh, and they he basically tells the story of each game's development. So you've got games like Stardew Valley, Uncharted Four. You got all different kinds of games, uh, you know, indie games. Super, you know, Destiny is in there. It's very enjoyable, and it's an easy read. I'm, I'm, I think I'm halfway through it already, and I only read it uh, one day, uh, one train commute. Um, but I think anybody who's listening to this show, who's a bigger nerd that they listen to a video game podcast, is certainly all about this book. I mean, it's going to be right up your alley. Uh, it's different than um, what was the Sega book? The, what was that called? Wombat. The Blake Harris book? Yeah. What was the name of that? Console Wars. Console, Console Wars. Wars. I don't know. I drew a blank there. Uh, it's different than Console Wars in that it's, you know, it's not like a dialogue. Uh, it's not like there's no made up dialogue. It's not, it's not, it doesn't read like a, like a movie. It's not a dramatization. It's, it's not a, a dramatization. Thank great. you. That's so what I was looking for. But it's documentary. A, this is great. This is, uh, I think anybody who listens to this show would enjoy Blood, Sweat, and Pixels. Um, even you two guys. There, there is no no novelization of. Uh, <laughs> there is a novelization of Home Alone Two: Lost in New York. That doesn't count. There might be one for Predator Two. What about any Adam Sandler movies? I haven't been able to find one. Um, there I, is pretty much every DC Universe movie has a novelization for whatever reason. But uh, all right. yeah, I don't see. Uh, yep. Makes me want to read that Batman v Superman novel. <laughs> no. I picked up the novelization of Ninja Gaiden for uh, NES this past week. How's that? I've, yeah. I haven't really dug into it yet. <laughs> oh. Well, it's let sitting, us know how that goes. Yeah, it's sitting sitting beside me. Does that have a cool cover? Uh, it's It's pretty much just the cover of the NES game. That would be yes. Yeah. That's a yes. Awesome. All right. Uh, should we move on to new releases? They're on the list. None of us saw it, huh? No. No. We're all too scared of it, right? No. Yes. No. Yeah. No way. I just learned that there's a that's it's only part one of the movie. Oh, it's not the whole like. No, a whole I'm like, no, fuck that. I'm not falling. It's a long that book. Trick. I read that book. Did you really? Yeah, like when I was in seventh or eighth grade. I don't think I can handle that either. I think I may be too much of a... What's the word I'm looking for? A pussy, I believe, is what I am. Mm -hmm. I I I went through my Stephen King phase in like middle school. Yeah. I I have friends who who did that, and they were like, you need to read it. It's awesome. And I'm like, yeah, no, it's not going to happen. I'll stick with the... I'll stick with my... With the mystery novels from the 1930s, because that's what I read at that age, because I was a super nerd. Because I was into Batman, right. and I wanted to read where Batman stories came from. Ugh. It's amazing <laughs> I ever had sex. <laughs> At any point. Right. Well, I was getting laid left and right reading all those Stephen King books. Let me tell you. <laughs> At least that's a little more mainstream. I, I remember reading Thinner when I was in, I think it was like Sleepaway Camp, I want to say. Okay. Yeah. And as I was reading the book, the book started falling apart little by little, like the pages started coming out. How's that for creepy? The book got thinner as I was reading. I, yeah. I, yeah. I we got, got what you were going yeah, okay. with. Yeah. I'm not, it's not a joke. It's like this really, it was like a secondhand book and it just like the glue was, was, uh, I don't know, faulty or something. When I, it's funny. Cause when I was reading pet cemetery, <laughs> I buried it in the backyard and then the next morning it was next to my bed again, right. but it tried to eat me. Right. And then you fucked your cat. Yeah, well, who doesn't do that? <laughs> uh, all right. New releases. This is, these aren't new releases. They're not? They aren't? Well, the movie, I guess. It, oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, what? Oh, you're talking about Pet Cemetery with an S. Um, <laughs> what? I don't know. I'm so confused on what that joke was, but maybe our listeners got it. Um, <laughs> new releases. We have... Good God, Raymond Legends came out again um, for the Switch. 
The definitive edition. This will be the final time that Ray- Raymond Legend uh, gets. Released. It's a great game. I mean, yeah. I'll give it that. I don't know if it's forty dollars great anymore. If this came out for like ten bucks on the Switch, I would be like, oh, that's a that's a smart way to price this for this console. But it didn't, so I don't care. I uh, I think they were just buttering us up with that Mario plus Rabbids release, and now oh, that's a different game. That's the it's not Raymond. There was a Raymond Rabbids game, though, right? Well, Rabbids originally came from Raymond. I don't know. No, I think it's Raven. Rabbids came from Raymond? Yeah. It did? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know anything no. about these guys. I got to be honest. I don't know anything yeah, about I Raymond, and I don't Rabbids know anything about Rabbids. Me. Really? That ga- that Rayman game is good. It's real good. Yeah. Yeah, the The original Rabbids game was Rayman, Raving Rabbids. Okay, uh. so I'm not a complete moron. <laughs> no, no, you're not. It's it's like Only the partial. minions came from Despicable Me, and now they're their own thing. Right. All right. So that's something that we're not going to be buying. What else? Uh, let's see here. What else we have? Uh, well, coming out this Friday is the the Metroid. Um, what is that one called? Metroid something for the 3ds. Metroid 3ds. Right. I don't I, even I, know it, what this is. Is this a remake or something? Yeah, this is the remake of, of Zero Mission. Is that what this is? I I have not kept track of it. I'm definitely going to buy it. But I I have forgotten what it is. I don't really have this a is, console to play it on anymore. I, I'm glad we brought this up right now. Metroid Samus Returns. Samus Returns. There we go. Uh, a remake of what? Okay, it's the game features. A, I'm just on Wikipedia. This is, I mean, you guys could go. Oh yeah, yeah. The, it's the remake of the Metroid Two from the Game Boy. Yeah. But but really, I. It's like a brand new game then. Right, because it's so it's, old. Right. Um, but it's supposed to be good. It looks good. Sure. I, I like Metroids. I have. Who a doesn't? Two DS. Yeah, I like Metroid games. Uh, you know, I would like to play it. I just, you know, now is not the time. Why is not? Now, not the time. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so. Great. Um, it's destiny time. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get yeah, to that. We're... What about this Dishonored something something that's coming Did out? Did you guys know I... that this was happening? <laughs> I knew it was happening, but I didn't know it was happening this week. I just, I loaded up Steam and they pop up, you know, new releases and stuff. And that was a thing. Like, I'll fuck? say this: both Dishonored games are really great games. So, if this is really great, this there's a good chance this will be really great too. But there's also a chance I won't buy it when it comes out. So, mm, sorry, Dishonored. I'll wait. It's a st- it's a standalone. I think it was yeah. maybe some, it's a standalone thirty dollars game. I guess similar to uh, Uncharted Lost Legacy, although I think that's forty dollars. Wasn't Dishonored two pretty much a standalone thirty dollars game after about two weeks? <laughs> yeah. Not only was it thirty dollars as a standalone game, but it came with a remaster of the first one. <laughs> uh, Prey also is got cheap pretty quickly. I still haven't played that. Still didn't. Last time I checked, it still wasn't running great on PlayStation 4 Pro. But I hear good things about it. Pray, that is. Maybe on PC someday. Uh, what are we talking about? New releases. Uh, oh, I thought we were talking about <laughs> your favorite MC Hammer songs. Mm, I think you've made that joke before. Oh, I have totally made that joke before. Right. Because Hot and Wet is definitely up there. <laughs> um, uh, I'm too legit to quit these new releases. Yes. Oh boy, NASCAR Heat Two. They sent me a code for that. Um, oh, did they? I, have d- I have downloaded it. I have not played it yet. Ah, let me know how it is. Yep. Let me know if you have the if you go in a circle clockwise or counterclockwise. And if it's hot. I'm pretty sure I know which direction you go. <laughs> let us know the temperature. Is it hot? Okay. Uh, um, let's see. There was some other stuff on here. Do you get to design your own car, like based on? A pool of sponsors because that would be kind of cool. I I I know nothing. I have not played it yet. I know I made a dinosaur car in a NASCAR game a couple years ago. So that sounds like something. Uh huh. I liked that. Yeah. Um, we have 
for let's see here. There was something else here. What do we have? Uh Cinco No Ronde 2 came out out of nowhere for PlayStation 4. Out of nowhere, yeah, bam. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Uh do you guys exactly. remember this game? No. This came out on 360 time frame. Um I only buy where, games that are titled in English. Right. This is the it was kind of like a it looked like a like bullet hell type of thing, but it was like mm-hmm. a f- people fighting against each other. Oh. I remember playing it and it was kind of cool and this seems to just be almost like an update of it. Um, I guess there was another version that came out in the arcades or something. So it's coming out now. Yep. Yep. I'm good. It's out. There's a double pack of Inside and Limbo for $30. That seems pricey. It does. It should be like both for 15 I, f- I feel like Limbo does not have a whole lot of value anymore because it's been out for a long time and it's been on sale so many times and free so many times. Yeah, I was going to say it was free like three times. All right, what else? I think that's it. That's all, right. that's all I see on here. Fine then. Yep. I, I want to say NBA Live is not on this list and that is at least out for EA Access users. That? How is it? I It is downloading. It's like 36 uh-huh. gigs, so... We played the demo before, though, when we when I was at Chibi's house. So yep. it seemed okay. fine. Hockey is also out. How's that? Mm. I don't know. That's the same old shit. Same old shit, but they added a three versus three like NBA Jam mode. I talked about it before. I didn't think it yep. was particularly exciting. Um, meh. I will play my. I will play enough of it through EA Access that I won't need to buy the game. Is it time to talk about Destiny again yet? Uh, let's do, you know what? Let's talk about Harry's first and then we can talk about destiny. How about that? Is that a deal? That, that is a deal. That is a deal. Heck of a deal too. Great shave (laughs) at a fair price. Exactly. That's what Harry's is all about. Uh, over 3 million guys have switched to Harry's razor blades. Uh, it started by Jeff and Andy, just two ordinary guys who were tired of paying so much money for blades at their drugstore. And now they have their own factory in Germany, and they sell the blades to you for half the price direct. So we love Harry's blades. They're they're super sharp, give you that close shave. They've got the nose hair trimmer on top, so you get some dual action going. They've got great shaving accessories, such as the post ba- uh, post shave bomb. Post shave bomb, yo. You have to make the bomb noise. <laughs> Uh, and shaving cream, definitely head over to harrys.com slash CADCAST. Harry's is so confident you're going to love their blades. They'll give you their trial shave set for free when you sign up. Uh, just pay for shipping. That's harrys.com slash CADCAST. You'll get a free razor handle, uh, a razor blade, a, sh- a shave gel, a travel blade cover, and that's it. But that's all you need. So go to harrys.com slash CADCAST right now. You'll love the quality and the price. That's harrys.com slash CADCAST. Thank you, Harry's. All right, Chipwreck. Now we are on to multi-platforming Wombat's Overwatch Onslaught and news and stuff. You may talk about Destiny. So how far are you in Destiny now, Mr. Shipwreck? Uh, I, I did not get to play as much as I would like uh, would like to, but I think I'm around level 13. Like okay. around 150 power, somewhere around there. Uh, what planets have you opened? How many? I'm. Have you opened Uranus I'm, yet? I, <laughs> <laughs> Just before the show, right? Right, right. <laughs> uh, I am on a planet that, where I'm going to try to find Cade. Okay. I, I'm, wor- I'm working to, to get him. I just unlocked that mission. I haven't done it yet. I, I could go to that planet, mm-hmm. but I decided to do one last adventure on the water planet sure. before I went there. Water planet's not my favorite planet, I would say. I did like that last story mission before you unlock the next planet. When you're crawling through like the, the corridors that are a little that mm-hmm. are v- probably very intentionally reminiscent of Alien. I, th- so. This game is what we all wanted it to be originally. It's Halo. 
this is this is just Halo, this but with MMO stuff in it as well. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's a much better game than the first one, and I'm enjoying it very much. And I have not felt the need to play with other people yet at all, which isn't necessarily mean I don't like playing with other people. I had a couple of kegs join one of my games uh, before after the last show, but before this one. And that was also super awesome. Like, they just jumped into my game. By the way, if I'm playing Destiny, you don't need to send me a message asking if you could join my game. If we're friends already on the PlayStation Network and I'm playing the game, just jump into my game. If I have to leave, don't take it personally. You know, so I have kids and sometimes I yell things and I need to just get off the game. It doesn't mean I don't like you, but you're also more than welcome to just join me at any time. So there also, you go. also, please do not look at Wombat directly in the eye. When he's in his own room, please do not bother him in his room. Do, do not yes. look at him. You'll I'm be trying to be. I'm actually trying to make, keep it casual. Is really I know, what I'm I saying. It, I got it. I, yeah, but uh, it game is a lot of fun. So is the the story is the single play? I mean, what, I don't even understand. Did they change? There's like a story mode. You have to do something special no. to get into the story. No, mode? It's, it's all integrated. It's just in. there. It this it's is just it's there. literally like there's a Halo style campaign in the middle of this thing. As well as all of the all the other stuff, all the other MMO raid stuff and like side missions, and and they change certain things like there are public events that right. You know, There's they the, had those the in the last game public events that pop up, and you're like, but now oh, I can when, go do that now, while I'm on my way to my mission because I can get some rare items from that real easy. Exactly, because it but now it actually tells you what you'll get essentially from doing that public event it won't right. tell you the exact item but it'll say do this i do this uh mission this public event and you'll get a rare something we don't and know the what public is, events but... are like two to five minutes long yeah and they're like fun that. because it'll be like sometimes you'll get you'll do one and there'll be like 15 people just like waiting waiting for that countdown to start for the public event to start and then everyone just starts shooting everything and it's kind of fun and then you go and you do your own little solo adventure, which could take like a half hour. I mean, the only problem I really have with this game, and I get why it is the way it is, is that you can't pause. That's that's the only thing that's annoying about right, this no, game. I get it. Yeah, is that you yeah, can't but pause I mean, it. at the same time, you can you can see that there's no red on your on your radar, so there's no enemies nearby, and yeah, go into like your menu or whatever. It's not paused, but it's. As good as also, possible. so far the armor kind of sucks. Well, Aren't we're still that? early. Is My armor's is? not that bad. Are it's you playing? Okay. I'm I'm playing as uh, the the middle class. Okay, yeah, I'm playing as the first one, the knight, the the more the one that looks more like a knight, not the one you're playing. The one with the hoodie, right? The hood and the cape. yes, uh, hunter, I believe. Yes, yeah, so I'm playing the one that 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 wears like a sash on his belt. Uh. Is that a Titan? Maybe. Yeah, I think so. And Something like that. Warlock is the other one, right? Yes. Or no? Warlock that's is the one that's easy to remember. That's the one yeah. I am, I think. Oh, I perfect. played the one that Chipwreck is in Destiny 1, so I wanted to try something new. Also, I let Elliot pick, pick and design my character. So my face is kind of funky. So I have to buy that's this, <laughs> basically? Is that what's happening? It's a it's, lot of fun. It's really good. Oh. I, okay, okay. It's kind of amazing that all that everything in it works as well as it does. Oh, good. The uh, the weapons are really good, though. I was going to say the armor so far is kind of crappy, but I do like the uh, I like how often you find a better gun and that that gun is usually something completely different in style than the gun that you were just using. So mm-hmm. I'll do a mission where I'm doing like, oh, I have an auto rifle and this auto rifle is awesome and I'm shooting everybody with my auto rifle. And then all of a sudden, oh, and now I have a revolver that makes my auto rifle look like a piece of garbage. So now I'm using a revolver all the time. And it's a real, it's, it's good because it keeps it interesting as you keep going because your play style changes sure. because of what you're finding. Like Borderlands. Like I was going to just say, and I think one of the reasons why Shipwreck likes it is because I really do think that they, they, that they borrowed, I, that was, yeah, they borrowed from I, Borderlands as far as the, which Borderlands borrowed from plenty of stuff before it, certainly. But they, I think the, the way that they've made the levels smaller uh, and kind of more linear mm-hmm. uh, is very reminiscent of like the story missions in Borderlands where you would go into a location and work your way through the hallways and beat the boss at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. The only thing, like the water planet, um, I think 
since it's so con- confined, like you can't, there's not really much open world there because it's all like up on these platforms. Um, so, and when you, if you just go through and do like the story mission and then the two adventure uh, missions that are after that, they, they go through the same area like three times in a row. And that was kind of disappointing. Um, I don't know if you, I guess if you did it in a different order, it wouldn't have happened that way. Well, no, it's, I understand what you're saying. Cause there's that cool moment in the story mode where I, I don't want to spoil anything, but there's a cool moment in the story mode. And it was kind of weird to kind of walk through that thing that I did. <laughs> right. So I get it. I'm and intrigued. Don't, and occasionally you should go back to the farm because they will give you stuff. I, I have not been back to the farm. In I know. A long you should time. go back to the farm. I After I played last, knowing that I had to shut it off, I said, you know what? Before I turn it off, instead of starting a mission and wasting another hour of my life, I'll, I'll just go to the farm because then I can't do any missions. And, and the, one of the, like, the vendors are like, we, you're doing great. Here's a thing. And I'm like, cool. I like things. So you should go check it out. Do you guys have the season pass already, or you just have no. like the regular? Just the season. let's see. I I'm gonna I'm gonna get through the story and see if I still have interest in playing more than that. Yeah, it depends on yeah, because the, by the time I'm done with this, who knows where we'll be? Right. I I know the raid started today, um, and I'm not nearly powered up enough. I think you have to be like level two seventy five somewhere in that range. Um, I did the. What's the I difference did, between the the power level and the level level? So level level, you just level up to twenty is the maximum right now, oh, and then yeah. all of the other power levels and, are determined and that's how you by get, your gear. Like, Got yeah. it. Yeah. So the level levels exactly they tell. So the level levels that you're it's like used your damage to, level or whatever, basically. Yeah. So attack. like level one through twenty, that gives you your points to unlock your powers that go with your class. Very similar you know basic rpg stuff also like you know there's level 12 gear so if you're level 11 you can't wear level 12 gear so that you know things that you're very much used to but each piece of gear that you wear also gives you light and the higher your light as shipper was saying the more basically the more powerful you are the more damage you can you can deliver if i buy this game on playstation they're going to announce it like the 64k 60 frames per second on xbox x like the so day, what? The day after I buy so it. So what? The game know. looks great. Yeah. Like it, I know. It's hard and to believe. Like, this game is Chipper really hard to believe. It. Like everything yeah. that's going on, how good it looks. They did a really good job. As someone who played, I did the one of those raids in the last one. I did the glass vault. I did that. Yeah. I know. I did all that stuff. And this already, I... I I can see where they made the improvements, and I approve. And I got my uh, my Pop Tart Sparrow today, so that was totally right. totally made it worth it. I don't know. Maybe we should get this shit going, and we could stream yeah. it. And I don't know. Get some Pop Tart Sparrows. Get Pop Tarts. Mm-hmm. Sounds, sounds exciting. All right, Destiny Two. They did it. Yeah. Good job, Bungie. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it sold all right too. From what I yeah, I'm saw. sure it's doing just fine. I think they had like one, one point two million concurrent players already. That's bananas! That's bananas. Yep, that's more than pub PUBG. Yeah, yeah. I got to play some uh, Black Manta and in Injustice Two yesterday. How's that? He's pretty awesome. Why? Uh, he does awesome Black Manta things, like you push the the B button and he floats. With his jet pack that sprays water out of it, and he shoots laser beams out of his eyes, and he shoots a harpoon in people's chest, and he does like a, you know, like a, what's his name, Scorpion, does that kind of a dealy, and he's yeah. got all sorts of cool gear, and he's fun, right. and he's Scorpion, Scorpion, he's Black Manta, <laughs> and he's Scorpion, <laughs> he's Scorpion, he basically is Scorpion. Does he all. ever take his mask off? He does. When you do his little story mission. Okay. Like his his story mode, his little his ending for his story, he takes his mask off. Oh wait, there's a story mode with these add-on guys. What's up with that? Well, there's you know it's the same thing with all, with every character. You know, you do their little, you go to the multiverse and you go to the thing that uh, has the extra stories. 
I don't even it know. doesn't have cutscenes. You just oh, like okay. fight. It's just fighting dudes, not really. Yeah, smart. you fight five guys in a row, and then after it, it gives you a little ending. And then once you see their ending, you get an extra shader. Right. His helmet's always intrigued me because it doesn't look like it would be comfortable to wear. It looks heavy, right? It it doesn't seem very form fitting. Yeah. So it's cool though. No, he is. He's very good. He's a good character, and he does some cool stuff. And both my kids thought he was. It was really. It was pretty exciting. So we had a good time. Cool. Playing with Black Manta. We got him up to level five really quickly. Uh, speaking of your kids, at JT Marshall writes in and says, you two personalities, role models for young kids, bad or horrible idea. How do you deal with it with your kids? Well, what's it's the, What's the it's, YouTube it's, situation at your house these days? It's all my kids watch is YouTube, which is fine. Well, all why I do you let them I watch in... on there? You just let them watch anything or? No, Elliot likes to watch. It's like these kids that are always building Lego sets. It's basically, what... they're, they're kids that build Lego sets. It's gotcha. fine. It's, it's mostly harmless. Um, Sabrina has her YouTuber. She likes Dan TDM and she really likes Eliza Koshi. That's probably her favorite. What's, have, what racial slurs do those guys use? None. Eliza Koshi is pretty funny. Uh, my wife actually likes it a lot. Oh. So Sabrina and Laura will watch Eliza Koshi together. I, so, I mean, that's, that's the, the thing, right? Like, watch you it together. Watch it together. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's, yeah, and it's pretty much all they do. Like, Sabrina will do that. She'll also watch things about Roblox because she really likes to play Roblox. But that's, that's basically it. You know, she spends more time probably FaceTiming with her friends than watching, than watching stuff. But, you know, it's not, it, to say YouTube personalities are, should they be role models for young kids? It's no different than when we were kids and someone saying to your parents, you let your children watch TV? Do you think those are appropriate role models? Do you think those athletes no, are appropriate no, role models? No, different. no, it's, it's different. It's different. It's very different know. because there's at least, it's, there's there's somebody controlling what was the on TV. TV. That yeah. is true. I will the, give you that. There were companies, there were, were advertisers. There YouTube was YouTube doesn't cancel people. YouTube can't right. Right. cancel PewDiePie. Right. No They're, one at YouTube corporate's gonna come down and give them notes. Right. And he, even when somebody like PewDiePie gets all the advertisers and gets the Disney deal, there's still nothing there, as it's been shown, that prevents him from from going off script. From from right. getting away from the company message. Right. And they don't find out about it until it's too late. It's not like they he records an episode and Right. Like looks that's at crazy to me. Like Especially for the like that whole when that whole Disney contract was in place, wouldn't you think that they would be have to like submit their videos and have them to screened? Disney first, probably. Yeah. Well, it wasn't yeah. under like the Disney name, so I think that's how they got away with it. It's, right, but even if you were running a company of of YouTube stars, I would be screening the crap out of that before I put it out there. It's tough. It's a tough situation as a parent when it comes to YouTube. Because, you know, and I I know my kids don't watch PewDiePie. Well, definitely not Sabrina. And Elliot doesn't know who he is. But <laughs> he doesn't really watch that much. He prefers movies, actually. Um, but, yeah, it, 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 the, that's really what you need to do, though. If you know your children are watching YouTube, to see what they're watching. And if you can, watch it with them. And that's basically all you can do. But I at the same point, the same point, you could have watched hundreds of videos of PewDiePie and not seen the racist bits. Yeah, that is yeah. very true. Right. It's true. Looking through Ty's history here, he's watched 10 hilarious Overwatch glitches. <laughs> Did you know this Lucio Ball glitch? Uh, breaking all Overwatch maps with one out of map glitch. He likes Overwatch glitches. Man, he's, he's a cheater. Player. He's just he is a cheater. <laughs> Master player tries competitive bronze for the very first time. And Overwatch song, I Need a Healer. That, that was what he did recently. Now, he only he watches music videos and, and basically Overwatch that, videos. That's it. Is that Sabrina, is that too, Sabrina most recently watched <laughs> um, Roblox Robber, Robbery Fail by Dan TDM? Um, and oh, and then it's stuff that I watched. There's Dear People. 
uh, Liza Koshy, meeting my stylist, Liza Koshy, Liza Koshy. We watched that Guardians of the Galaxy Inferno video. So that's on there. Eliza Koshy goes to Target is on here. <laughs> wow. All right. So uh, yeah. there you go. Just Everyone watched the duck time. song. The duck song, <laughs> right. And by the way, yes, that Overwatch song, I Need a Healer, is too. I Need a Hero. Okay. Seems Nailed pretty it. good. It just came out. It's the new hotness. Okay, good. Uh, all right. Let's move on to Microsoft. Shanafan writes in and says, now that we are four years removed from the original Xbox One announcement of a system that is D- has DRM with 24-hour check-ins, do you wish that this original idea still happened? The idea of buying a physical game and being able to play it digitally as as the same purchase has always seemed a sweet concept to me. Would Microsoft have been better off or worse off today if this idea stayed? Worse off. And it's not because it's a bad idea. Just because it's, I think not everybody diff- did it, huh? It's because the competition didn't do it. Well, that's part of it, and also it's it. Not everyone has internet access all the time. Not everyone is in areas where there is internet. It the problem is, you know, it the solution isn't there for this type of system. It's just the well, infrastructure it doesn't exist. It it kind of is for isn't. some. Well, no, I it, mean, I mean, Netflix has shown that you can have the 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 offline you download a portion and you have that to watch offline yeah the but technology this, is there this, now this doesn't this system did not it would require again sure. that check in yeah but the real the real problem was sony didn't do it well that was yes if sony did it then they would have done it too and then and and i'm sure the three of us probably would not have had issues with it probably at any point but probably not no, but you know, you you know, you hear from people who just live in areas where the internet just isn't there. <laughs> it just isn't very good yet. But how about for you? I, personally? I think that's called Nintendo Land. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how about for you personally, saying that you do have you know uh, consistent internet? Would you prefer the original vision of the Xbox One had come to fruition, and then you could? I don't know. What's the big the big bu- the big plus was that. You could buy the you could own the disc and own it digitally on all your consoles, I guess. If you had multiple consoles, but why is I'm not sure like there was a big enough bonus there to require a big enough upside to require that that check in that online check in. I can't even remember what all the bonuses were to this stupid idea. Now it was it was mostly I think that you could if you had multiple consoles, you could play that game on all of them. Even if you bought, like, just if you bought the disc, I think that was pretty much it. And you know, of course, the big problem was there were just so many unanswered questions. They didn't have any. There were a lot of unanswered questions, and it was all centered around. Basically, they were selling a console centered around DRM as a focus point. <laughs> right, right. And that's a bad idea because the last thing anyone who plays video games wants to hear in any context is DRM. Right. Like, oh, we have the best DRM. No, the best DRM is no DRM. No, ours is the best. No, it right. isn't. Stop it. Right. Shut up and stop trying to sell me a camera. I guess so. it would it would have we didn't we never really got the whole vision. It was so Well they scrapped it. They well, scrapped yeah. it before E three. They never had a complete at least they never gave us the complete vision. Like they never told us how used games were gonna work. There was supposed to be something, some method that you could do but uh, oh, that's right because once you uh, once you had the license on your console then only that game could be used. it was there was some weirdness uh for the whole thing like it just didn't it was so long ago <laughs> Four years? No. it seems so long ago um, boy did I, they screw that up they yeah. screwed that up so badly and i like microsoft i think my i think the xbox one is great but boy, did they mess oh, that yeah. up! Oh yeah, nobody, nobody would deny that. I'm sure even Microsoft employees would would realize that. Yeah, Oof. so much that connect. What a bad idea! Such a bad idea, and they were, and and the product that kind of gets it right is so was so close behind it. You know the the Echo, the Amazon Echo. If instead of the Echo, instead of the Connect, it was more like an Echo, where your console didn't even need to be on. And you could just walk around the house and ask it things. 
<laughs> but we don't have to carry the console around with you. No, I mean like you have. It, your, it like could you be have in the power save now. mode. And sure. the, yeah, like yeah. You're, like you would, when you keep it in the power save mode, you could just walk past the living room and say, "Hey Xbox, what's the <laughs> weather going to be?" And then it would tell you the weather. Or you could say, "Hey sure. Xbox, play a song," and it would just play the song off your TV speakers. That would without having to turn your TV on and do all the functionality that the Echo does. And then you could have it turn on your TV, and then you could have it change your channels, and then you could have it go play your game, and then you could then use you it could to go play shopping. Star Wars Connect. Yeah, but exactly. And the only things you wouldn't be able to do is play Connect games, which they don't, <laughs> which clearly doesn't seem to be an issue. I mean, they were so close to getting it right, but mm-hmm. they focused on the wrong part of it. They focused on the camera and not the microphone. Well, then, of course they did, because the Wii was such a huge hit that everybody thought motion gaming was. Yeah, and it and the future isn't. It was it's voice. The future was voice. Kind of. Kind I don't of. Know. I mean, Siri, <laughs> Amazon. Yeah, is it Google I, One. Some of that AI. stuff. Some of that stuff is is far fetched as well. Nobody's shopping with their voice. No, that's, well, that's the most cumbersome. I bought one thing game. I think I bought. Well, one yeah, game but that way you once. bought that game because you saw like an ad on Twitter or something. Oh yeah, totally. And then say you had to like go it. look up and say exactly that thing to your, your Amazon Echo. But if it was you like, were sitting in front of your TV and and the voice commands really worked and you could say, you know, Xbox like by Destiny Two. <laughs> by Destiny Two and it would go to the store without you having to pick up the controller. Well that and was the dream, right? Huh? Wasn't that the dream? Like couldn't that, you kind of do that? That was anyways? the dream and they just didn't get it to work because again they stuck a stupid camera in the box you take out the camera you put in a better microphone it still would be cheaper than having a stupid camera in it it also wouldn't have to sit on top of your tv it could sit behind your tv it could sit next to your tv it could be it could built sit under the controller TV. yeah you could attach it to the controller you have a lot more freedom it probably wouldn't even have had to have been wired but instead they screwed it up because of the dumb camera Dumb camera. <laughs> Stupid camera. Stupid camera ruined everything. Oh, all right, that's enough, Microsoft. Because that's the future that I want to live in. Talking. Talking. By the I way, I did... Shout. You said everything. nobody uses uh, orders products with their voice. I did order ping pong balls via Alexa. Yeah, see? So, and it worked. How do, how do you even know what ping pong balls you get then? Because I, it's I'm reordering stuff that I've ordered before. Exactly, you didn't like start that way. Well, I'll, well, here's what happened. I said, I don't, you know, I don't want to say it like Alexa. But the worst, the worst going to happen. You're going to have more okay. ping pong balls come. It'll be all okay. right. It's it. Say, no, say, said, lady, hey, lady. I said, no, I said hey, lady, hey, lady. Mm-hmm. Reorder ping pong balls, and then she was like, "Well, do you want? You bought two different kinds of ping pong balls. Do you want the?" Outdoor ping pong balls, or do you want the yellow ping pong balls? Or the orange ping pong balls? And I said, I want the orange ping pong balls. And then two days later, I had orange ping pong balls. That was a hell of a story. Thank you. <laughs> the system works. That's the point. I know. And how cool would it be if your Xbox could do that? And when you set it on your and your TV was on, it would show you the product. Yeah. Is this what you mean? And then you'd be like, yeah, that's what I mean. And then you'd have it two days later. No, I mean, we've camera. talked about this so many times, how we thought, thought they everything. should just build a microphone into the actual console or the controller and then just focus on the voice stuff. And Oh, well. All right. Let's, yep. move, on to, let's move on to, to uh, Nintendo because they had right. a Nintendo Direct today. And I cut and pasted all these new, news items from Polygon right into this outline for us to go over. Uh, but before we get to that, let's just th- let's do these two items first. Uh, the NES Classic is coming back. Nintendo, the rule, uh, Nintendo decided to not kill it off. It's coming back in 2018. How sweet will that be if they add like one other game? It's smart. They, add, they would. They wouldn't. They should do that. They're not going to. They should totally do that. Oh, you mean the NES Classic? I thought you were talking yeah. about the Super Nintendo one. No, yeah, no, no. The that. NES Classic. They're they're making them again in 2018. Yeah. They yeah, should totally just add one more game. No, how about – what if they just like, change the color of the controller or something or uh, the actual console? Like, Add in Popeye. 
I don't know. Yeah, I mean, all right. So I guess pe- people people are still like I just, I didn't include it on here, but I know there was a cag bag question. Somebody is like, "Will I really be able to buy an NES Classic in 2018?" They still don't believe. No. No, that, I don't believe it'll, they're no, saying it'll be the, the same Super Nintendo situation. is going to be available. Yeah, it'll be just, still be impossible to get one. They're just going to make more. Right. <laughs> Great. They're, the, right. they're terrible. Everything they do is bad. What are, what else do they have to say? Uh, they they fixed the Switch voice chat app. I don't on your, care. On your phone. I'm not so, talking about... We're not talking about chatting on your phone while playing games. We, think it's, to, we think it's a pretty sweet solution. I refuse to have conversations about it because okay. it's, too, it's too stupid for discussion. It's too stupid for discussion. Okay, so Nintendo Direct. I like how Shipwreck is not arguing with me on that one. <laughs> I guess we should... Uh, uh, one of us at least has to download the app first before we can talk about I, I have it. I have it downloaded. Oh! It updated. I, Ooh. I did not open it. Uh, I don't have any on... Well, I guess I have Mario Kart. I guess... Uh, I don't know. I played one game of that. I got second. I felt like I had achieved a lot. You got your forty seven ninety nine worth. Um. Well, I, I played some single player, but I mean oh, online. Okay. I played. I played one match and got second. And thought that was fine. Um. I want to talk about this. So the Polygon article. I don't know. This this title is a little bit misleading. I would say. Go on. It, it's it's Nintendo bringing arcade classics to Switch, starting with Mario Brothers. Um, which everybody's like, oh, finally, virtual console stuff. It's it's coming. That's not really what this is. Oh, wait, this, these are the arcade versions of the these games. These are the arcade versions. And Nintendo is having um, Hamster port these. You might be familiar with Hamster because they're the ones that are, have figured out how to make arcade games in old games on all these systems. And they're the they ones that are out. releasing games every week. Right. And they yes. put them out under the arcade archives, which the is Neo what, Geo games, that right? Yeah. Nintendo Nintendo has has farmed these out to a. I mean, Hamster does a good job. There's no denying say, that. It's, if you're going to farm them out, at least they're doing it to people that have shown they know what they're doing. Yeah, it's just really surprising. It's not to like me they that, asked Cheapy to do it, <laughs> <laughs> but they're even it. allowing Hamster to to use their arcade archives like brand around. That's their well. brand, right? That's that's right. Hamster's brand. That's Hamster's brand. Um, I wonder how much they would charge for Mario Brothers. I mean, I have it on my NES Classic. Oh, well, you know, the, I, I the know Neo it's, Geo it's games have different. been like five ninety nine, seven ninety nine, somewhere in that price range. But these should be cheaper, shouldn't they? Uh, should be. <laughs> like, I'm saying that's what I'm going with. Like they should be, right? So what do we think? How much? I mean, I think they'll be six dollars. I'm just saying they should be cheaper. You think they'll be six? I think they'll be ten. I, I'm, I think of that. I'm gonna go. Oh, ten sounds pretty right. <laughs> Especially the games that have Mario in the title. Yeah, but it's not super. It's regular, which I I actually really like that game. I'm a fan. Well, there's there's versus Super Mario Brothers as well. Yeah, they have the arcade Mario yeah. Brothers, Super Mario Brothers too. Yeah. They're not letting you have that for cheaper than ten dollars, right? No. I don't know. Hell no. Hell no. All ten dollars. Hells to the no. Hell so to so the $10. list of games is Mario Brothers versus Super Mario Brothers versus Balloon. This would be great if this is all one game. If this is just all versus Yeah, if it was all <laughs> one game, it could charge thirty bucks. Mario for Brothers it. versus Super Mario Brothers versus Balloon Fight versus Ice Climber. That's called Super Smash Brothers. Right. <laughs> versus Pinball. <laughs> versus <laughs> This is how Land Smash Brothers came to be. Smash like somebody saw this list at one point at Nintendo, and and they decided to make a game. <laughs> Let's make one game instead of seven. And uh, Punch Out versus Punch Out. Yeah, it's it's very cool that these are coming. I'm just surprised that Nintendo still hasn't got their own house in order on this. Their legacy. Uh, you know, it's probably games. significantly cheaper to just say, "Hey, you make these," and just do it that way. Well, yeah, they don't have to do anything. Exactly. <laughs> well, not doing anything in cheaper is not always the same thing. I know, but they still, they still get the royalties. Yeah, that's what I mean. It probably makes more financial se- sense. And it'll be they faster. Probably, they, it'll be faster. And so why not do it? Oh, yeah, because actually- Hamster's going to gonna get these things out. 
Yeah, like a hamster. They put out games every week. (laughs) Right, right, right. I don't know. It's just it's just odd to me that Nintendo still hasn't gotten their their crap together on their legacy stuff. Yeah. All right. What else we got here from this Nintendo Direct? Mario has nipples. Great. I mean, you weren't expecting him to have nipples? What did you think? I thought How he always had a, nipples. Why is this news? Why does anyone, why does anyone care? <laughs> what were they expecting? If you take off Mario's shirt, what do you think is going to be there? I'm I, surprised I, that he's not hairy. That's 2017. Oh, you think he, he uh, has body hair removal? I would assume so. I mean, he can grow a mustache. I don't know. It's pretty pretty hair free. All right, what else? What are the what's the real news? Uh, Doom and Wolfenstein Two are coming to the Switch. Like not not what you're thinking, not the original Doom and the original Wolfenstein Two. Right, the new the new the ones. newer ones. The Wolfenstein Two is the one that's not out yet, right? Right for anybody for any system. Right, right. I can't. Right. I can't imagine. Like I'm. I really want to see what these things look like um, running in and play like running on the Switch. Excellent. You think it's going to be excellent or outstanding? Which one? I think, I don't know. It's going to be very interesting. Yeah. Uh, well, whatever. It's cool well, that they're coming. going to buy it on there anyway. Well, uh, people will. Some people will because it is... Yeah portable yeah no <laughs> how many th- really are they gonna sell not many it's gonna be a low number uh what else new what's mario proje- party what else <laughs> what's project octopath i saw people like ooing and eyeing on twitter that's the new kind of uh 16 bit looking RPG what else? from Scorpion. You lost me. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> but how crazy is that Mario Party game? They like they've that. collected 100 of Mario Party's best mini games and brought them to the What's 2DS. What else? What to else? To the 2DS. What else? <laughs> Wait, they took 100 they it's for the 2DS or 3DS, yes. whatever. Uh, DS. What, whatever. It's for the, the DS. Any of the two or two or 3 DSs. Right. They got right. all all the best Mario Party mini games and put them on the system that nobody wants to play them on. And not yeah, well, with, how, so they designed a console where the first commercial they ever showed of it was a was this was this weird woman who takes it to a party. And instead of releasing their new party game on the console that they advertised by being able to take it to a party, they put it on the console that although it is portable is not really suited for parties. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I just want to make sure that I'm 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 yeah, clear my favorite on this. thing about this whole situation is Nintendo told everybody they were going to do this with the 3DS that it was not going to die that they were going to continue to support it. But to release a party nobody, game, nobody believed a game where, where you could take two, keep of those, doing this. two of those little mini controllers and slide it right off the Switch and you could have two people play Mario mm-hmm. Party at a party and then it would be just like the commercial and everyone would be laughing and drinking their, their whatever they drink in Brooklyn right now on a <laughs> rooftop and it would be awesome wearing their beanies and their neck beards. But instead, they put it on the 2DS. Maybe it'll come to the Switch later. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Help me understand. Well, they have to have something to sell those new uh, 2DSs tell me wh- that are coming out. Tell me where I'm wrong. <laughs> well, they have a new 2DS coming out. A bunch so of them. Hype up. Get yeah. ready. Oh, it's so fun. Hey, they must know what they're doing. I mean, they know what they're doing in some situations, right? Oh, they totally like, know what they're doing. Like milking, they can still yeah, they can still make money. They're they're making good money and all this stuff. So you don't put everything out at once. That Pokeball uh, 2DS looks pretty good, actually. If I was into Pokemon, I'd probably want that. Anything else from this Nintendo Direct? Because so far it's kind of like the the Minecraft thing is is 
for 3ds seems okay. crazy Good. like that it's on everything right I, I i forgot that it wasn't on the 3ds actually i mean there's a lot of ds's out there in right the world you know right it seems like hey you might want to make a minecraft 3ds as well while you're at it Oh, an actual system that looks yeah. like Minecraft has pixels on it. Yeah, of course. I mean, Microsoft's doing it with the uh, Xbox One S. Right. I would think. Shit. Yeah. I would think that's coming at some point. <laughs> uh, they better get it, get it announced soon for the holiday season. Mm, they don't worry about that. Right. March, I mean. The holiday season. Uh, what else? Are we done with Nintendo? Did we get all the goodies? I well yeah I I think so I mean everything else that we we knew about um they they just showed more of that stuff All so. right uh I uh went to Sony I'm still playing Uncharted Lost Legacy Oh you are I didn't know yeah. you were playing it Oh I okay. rented it from the library did I, I Oh that's I talked r- about it last week did I Okay or not I don't I don't know. think you talked about it I've talked about it before it's good Yeah it's really it's really solid um in this one, they get you to the open world sort of right away, I guess. Yeah, I think they realized that that was when the the previous game got good, when Uncharted uh, so, 4 got good. So the two ladies get access to the Jeep right away, and you're – I'm tracking down the uh, like the tokens. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm in the beginning still. But, it, you know, it looks amazing. It's, it's, you know, it's a Naughty Dog quality game, of course. Um, do you play that? Do you put on the like uh, aim assist in that game? Oh, see, I do because I don't like the, I don't particularly care for the aiming in Uncharted. Right. So I like the 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 snappiness because I just want to shoot the dudes. Yeah, pop. You don't want to be there all day. Right. Uh, Should we talk about the Apple news? Do I care? I don't know. I, I have an Apple. I have Ugh, an Apple. I'm so negative to this this week. I have an iPhone six. Me I too. I think I'm I is that new. what I have? I don't even know what I have. No, you have a seven. I think I have a seven. Damn it! And I'm ready for a new phone. Yeah, I'm yep. happy for a new phone. I'm gonna get one of these. Which I, one? Yeah, which one? I I haven't decided yet. How much is the eight? The eight is eight hundred. Right. It's it's two hundred dollars difference between the two, basically. At that, I mean, you're already getting fucking destroyed. You might right. Exactly. That's that's kind of the reasoning there, right? It's like you might just be like, fuck my shit up at this point. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, just, I have so many pairs that I have, I finally have good headphones. Yeah, it's like when you go to like a, a big steak dinner or something, and you're totally full, and like you just can't eat another bite, and the guy wait, your yours yours has headphones, yes. Wombat. You don't have a seven, then, right? No, I have a headphone jack. Oh, so you have a six S, I think. Maybe is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I still have a headphone jack on mine. Do I so. want a headphone jack? I don't. I, that doesn't really bother me at all. It bothers me. But whatever. That's it's fine. I totally see how it's an issue, but it's just not an issue for, for you. Me. Yes. I could use the adapter. I think I could hack that. I I've got Bluetooth headphones I'm i don't i don't fine. have any anywhere in my house so it's a tough decision i don't know the yeah. they both seem capable but then why is one 200 dollars more and why don't i want that one you this is one do. of the this is one of the things i can justify spending money on because well, yeah, i use, you use it use it constantly daily constantly yeah. Daily isn't even the way, yeah. No, no, not like anytime you're not asleep, you're using it. Right. So (laughs) it it doesn't bother. Like I understand that these things are expensive and that I'm, that I'm paying more because I'm going the Apple route, but guess what? That's, that's where all my stuff is at. I I like that experience. That's the other thing. It's like, (laughs) I don't know how locked into that ecosystem I really am, but other than chatting with stickers, Stickers, dude. You don't want to have to build that sticker collection again. That's true. I did work really hard for, to get those stickers. <laughs> My guess is that I'll probably get the X. 
I may be wait, I may be waiting well. for the eleven, or are they just going to skip right to twelve? Is it only even numbers now? I don't know how I to do this. I don't know, but an extra two hundred dollars over over two years or three years seems like okay for a supercomputer that goes in my pocket. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm crazy, but it's all it's, right. it's not that it is, it's not that it's not expensive. It is expensive, but it is a justifiable expense, and there aren't that many people that really pay for it up front anyway. Yeah, so uh, I gotta look into like. You gonna, you gonna get the uh, Apple Watch Three? No, that's the other thing. I use the I you know I have my Apple Watch, the, the first generation, and I wear it every day. I think it's great, but I don't know that I need an Apple Watch that has the LTE built in. I, I nice wouldn't go with that. You can go with the GPS version, which I think I'm gonna get for for Mrs. Shipwreck because she has a Apple Watch One and I have an Apple Watch Two. The, the problem with the one is that the apps just are so – they load so slowly on it, you won't even use them ever. Any and, of the apps. And uh, it's not waterproof. Right. I mean, I haven't uh, – you know, I just take it off when I take a shower. It's okay. But, yeah, I I, I don't know. It's not, it's not super exciting, though. None it makes a difference, things. like, for, for Mrs. Shipwreck, who – is constantly having to wash her hands at work. Right. And soaked in horse blood. I was just right. about to make a horse ass joke and you just ruined it. <laughs> you can still do it. Nah, I it didn't mention matter. the ass. Nope. 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 Just, Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I don't uh, know. Give, give me one of everything. Throw, <laughs> throw in one of those Apple TVs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that too. Sure. Just totally fuck my shit up, Apple. <laughs> they, they, sit, they had something else too, right? I don't remember. Mm, new earbuds i don't know i didn't really i didn't watch it i i feel like there was something else in there too i don't oh they, they bought disney <laughs> <laughs> they went to disney just <laughs> they own oh. disney now you didn't know that that was part of the deal yeah all right let's let's uh close this bad boy out with a couple of cag bag questions <laughs> at call colonel fantastic what other publisher would you like to see at EA Access like a subscription service? Who could actually pull it off? It's Ubisoft. They should do it on the PlayStation 4. Yeah. That's a pretty good answer. Yeah. Xbox for EA and PS4 for Ubisoft. Uh, it would I be mean, awesome. the only other one is Activision, right? Yeah. They don't have enough games, really. They only do like three games a year now. Yeah, that's right. They cut. They cut way back. Yeah. So it only makes sense. The the only the only, I mean, yeah, I guess you could do like a like a, a Square Enix, but even that isn't as robust a library as Ubisoft would have. I mean, even with that back library of just Far Cry games and Assassin's Creed games and uh, everything else, I mean, it would be pretty awesome. I would I would sign up for that on day one if it was the same price. Thirty dollars a year and just get every you know game that's hmm. you know over a year old. I mean, it seems like so that could much. do them a lot of good too because I feel like there's a lot of like they have a lot of games that allow you to purchase stuff in them. Yeah, like even even <coughs> excuse me, those Assassin's Creed games, the Rayman games that we talked about, the Division, uh, it bring a whole new audience to all of these games. Rainbow Six. Yep. I mean. They're probably the only ones that could really that do it. Warner Brothers. Looking... Warner Brothers could do it with all their monetization now. Yeah, they don't have they, put out enough stuff. Except but they don't for, like, have the library. They don't, yeah, they don't have the library yeah, and, and well, the consistency. They're getting there. They. It's not like Ubisoft. Well, it's not like Ubisoft. I mean, I, I feel like Ubisoft there's a different Ubisoft game coming games. out every other week. Yeah. All right. And at JCAM 2, with the never ending re releases from console to console. Does no uh what does the no generation model start to look like a good idea similar to PC? I don't know why there's why they couldn't do it, and I think Microsoft is giving it a shot. I don't think Microsoft is giving it a shot. The, you, you, the reason why we're able to have consistency in our games and not have to deal with a lot of BS is because there's consistency in the consoles, and when you take that away, I think that everything would implode. But I think there's consistency between the Xbox One and the Xbox One X. Yeah, because everything that works, works. 
Right. So I think you could you could do that. I mean, uh, you know what? we'll find out. Because it's all about the phasing. So then you say, okay, now everything works in everything. And now we're going to say, well, starting in 2019, everything's only going to work on that 1X or the 1X2. Well, that's how PCs right. work. Yeah. Is that, I mean, I guess that's... Eventually, sort of, you don't have the, a strong enough graphics card once your PC gets old. Yeah, enough. I was going to say, I mean, that is that phasing things out or is that really just yeah. announcing when you're going to have a new console i don't no, know no 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 i think if they're just you know basically uh more powerful uh, gpus in the, a very similar box with like small other improvements um you could just get that eventually get the the spec requirements on the back of the boxes except it would just be much easier to understand it would be like xbox one x is your what you need to have to run this you're not going to like risk List out the RAM and the right. GPU and the CPU and all that stuff. Uh, again, yeah. it just sounds like they're better off just saying, here's the new version of the Xbox. And I calling it a new console launch. But not necessarily, if you have well, the backwards no, you just have the boxes say that on the front of them. They just, they just say Xbox One X. It's a okay. slightly different shade of green. The <laughs> One X2. Triple X. Yeah, the double It should be like Apple and just skip... Skip yeah. a number and go write the triple X. Uh, so did we answer this guy's question? I guess. I don't know. I feel like it could be a good idea. Um, and now you know PS4. I Pro don't. Has I been just. Out. I just don't think the marketplace. The the marketplace. Uh, that is ready for it yet as a whole. I just don't. I'm not saying that our listeners aren't ready for it. I'm not saying that you're not ready for it. But I don't think that, uh, you know, my brother and sister-in-law are not ready for that when um, my nephew asks for a new Xbox. <laughs> it's going to be too confusing. Yes. All right. Fair enough. All right. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. I want to remind you all to follow us on Twitter at GPD, at New Wombat, at Shipwreck, at Video Game Deals. Of course, you're going to want to go to harrys.com slash cast to get your free trial shave set. Uh, when you sign up, just pay for shipping. And that's it. We'll see you next week. Brent's done. Stupid camera. 